What's up guys, Flickify here and welcome to another episode of the Aston Villa Career Mode. Today we're up to episode number 5 and to start off the episode I've tried to implement some more of your guys' comments and you guys wanted me to start giving Sinclair some more playtime and switch to the 4-2-3-1 formation so that's exactly what I've done. I've still got Guzan in the net and at the left back position I've moved back here in Richardson because most of you have been commenting that he's not really an attacking player and I don't see where else he would fit in. I don't think he'd be a CDM role so I'll put him at the left back for right now and maybe we'll move him forward as the season progresses. But we have Akori, Vlar, and Smalling in the back. Cleverly and Delf at the center defensive mid rolls. Sinclair and Zogbia and Grillish at the attacking mid rolls. And then, of course, Christian Benteke up front. Let's also check out the squad reports and, of course, save the changes to that so you guys can see kind of how the players are progressing. So if we move on now to the squad report and sort by position, we'll see now. That Brad Guzan, as I said in the previous episode, is still growing and Jack Butlin already going up in his overall, though it is not his goalkeeping overall, but that's good because I've had a lot of young keepers who were unable to grow, but we'll continue going through this squad report pretty quickly just so I don't bore you guys and you can pause the video if you see any players that you want to take a closer look at, but already I saw that it was Kieran Clark who was unhappy with his play time, but that's pretty fair, and oh my goodness, look at this growth from Jack Grealish growing across the boards right there, freaking fantastic stuff, and in Zogby as well at age 28, he's got some great stats, and see what Christian Menteke's done, still not growing yet, and uh, that's going to bring an end to the squad report, so now let's get into our first game, unless we get any emails between now and then. You guys can take a closer look at our only youth player in the academy. It's going to be Callum Howard, the English winger. And it looks like he has potential of 71 to 87. I'm probably going to let him get the May bump so he can get a nice attribute boost. And here we have a small mishap in the squad. Leandro Bakuna suffered a medial collateral ligament injury. He's going to be out for three months. He is a backup player for us and we usually bring him up off the bench. So we're going to have to put someone else in the place. And really the only other players that I think could go on is Suzoko. But since Kieran Clark is a little bit unhappy with his playtime, I'm going to go ahead and put him on the substitutes and try to give him a little bit more playtime. For our first match, we are facing up against Man City and it is going to be an incredibly difficult match for us to win. However, I think the squad that we're putting out is really strong and we have a good chance to get a decent result against them. Here you can see the league table and Manchester City sitting at the top with 16 points through six matches, only one draw and the rest of them are wins. So obviously they're in really good form, but so are we. We haven't lost yet either, so it should be a good one. Let's take a look at Manchester City's lineup and they got Caballero, interesting choice in the net, Sanya, Martinez, Mangala, Clichy, Milner, Luka Modric, they must have just brought him in, Yaya Toure, Samir Nasri, David Silva, and Stefan Jovetic, some very interesting choices. They don't have Aguero in there. I don't know if they've sold him. I think he might have actually gone to Bayern now that I think about it. But we'll see if he comes in later in the match. And let's get going here. We got Scott Sinclair on the ball. He's going to break by his Manchester City teammates. And he's going to send the ball in. Christian Benteke with a good opportunity at the start. Just couldn't get it on target. But good stuff early on. It looks like Tom Cleverly's picked up an injury. So I'm going to sub in Sanchez. Hopefully his injury isn't going to put him out for too long. We're going to send the ball right here. Jovetic on the ball. Over to Modric. Modric, some great passing by Manchester City. Luckily, we've got Brad Goose on the net to make that save for us. Benteke over to Scott Sinclair. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to cut inside, get by one. He's going to try to play that through ball. What a pass to Christian Benteke. But the Manchester City defense able to track back. Good buildup, though, from us. There's a through ball. Oh, can he get there? Oh my goodness, Caballero just a second ahead. Clichy on the ball. That's a good ball inside. Silva to Jovetic to Milner. Milner looking for a shot, but that one was well wide. I think that had to have been a cross. Oh, it's Yaya Torre on the outside. He's got to be looking for that man coming in. What in the world are they doing right here? They're just playing that slow buildup. Yaya Torre now. Guzan again with the save. It's going to be out for a throw in. Man, we've just got to find a way to go on this counterattack. They're bringing people forward. Please get there. Please get there. Come on, Christian Benteke. Just chip the keeper. Oh my goodness. What a save from the keeper. I maybe should have just powered it, but I was going for that cheeky little chip. Nah. Nah, that was a horrible touch. 
Are you kidding me? Wow, there, there is no way I deserve that right there. That was a horrible touch for my player. Goes right to a Man City player. And of course the rebound goes right to Samir Nasri. We're going to tie this game up. I am not letting them beat us like this. Oh, Scott Sinclair, come on. Cut inside. Get there. Oh my gosh, that was the chance. That was the chance to tie it up, but he just puts it wide. Well, the match comes to an end, and to be fair, we put in a great performance, but we just came up short with a 1-0 defeat at home. I think when we play him later on this season, we're going to really contest to beat Man City next time. And to top it all off, Tom Cleverly is out for three months. That's two players out with him and Bakuna that have the ability to play center mid. We may even have to recall Westwood from loan due to a couple injuries. And I really don't like doing this and paying 200000 to bring a player back from loan, but we're going to have to do it for Ashley Westwood. We just don't have enough depth now at the center mid position. So we're going to recall him and put him probably in the starting lineup. All right, our next match is against Everton. I had to make a few changes to our starting 11 because this match was midweek for us and only a couple days later. So in the defense, we got Richardson, Kieran Clark, Baker, and Lowton. And then at the center defensive mid position, Westwood, Delft, Werner, and Zogbia, Gill, and Benteke up front. I'm probably going to sub in Vyman at halftime, though. Zogbia is going to go to the outside here and try to cut inside. Nice moves here. Cuts in, plays the pass, and again, the shot by Timo Werner, and we're going to put it in four minutes into the game. Timo Werner with his left foot on that left-hand side is just tremendous, and we get on to an early lead there. Ross Barkley now, he's going to go forward, and what a block by our defense. Guzan, you got to make that save, and he can. Oh, this isn't good right here. Seamus Coleman pushing forward. He's going to send in the ball to Lukaku. It's going to fall to Ross Barkley. He's going to have a go. Guzan's going to deflect that out of there, though. Oh, what a deflection by Romelu Lukaku. We get so lucky right there that they didn't put it away. Aaron Lennon. Oh, what a ball to McCarthy. He's going to hit the post. McCarthy, the commentators have been talking about that he has been poor in form, and that really does show it. All he had to do was get it around Guzan, but again, unsuccessful in that effort. A freaking good result right there against Everton at Goodison Park, and we're going to pick up three points in the bag. We get our first international management offer from Bulgaria. You know, I'm going to reject this one for right now. I don't think they're quite the right fit for us. We get a load of players in this month's scouting report. However, none of them really seem to be up to my standards. So we'll see if this scouting report is over. And yes, it is. We're going to be sending them to a new country. We're going to be sending Mr. McGovern over to Belgium. Hopefully, we can find another Belgian to add to the team to go alongside Christian Benteke. All right, for this next match against QPR, here's a lineup we're coming up against. McCarthy, Isla, Onuaha, Kalker, Yonsuk, Young, Vargas, Sandro, Lur, uh, Leroy Fur, excuse me, uh, Kranchar, Kazarate, and Charlie Austin. Pretty good lineup, to be fair, um, for where they're sitting in the table. They're on the, the lower edge, I believe. And here's the lineup we have for this match. We're going to bring things back to our regular starting lineup. Oh, Sandro's going to play it inside to Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin with a little bit of space. What a save by Guzan. Oh, my goodness. His form has just been incredible lately. Oh, he's taken down. Oh, that's not a foul. Oh, yes, Scott Sinclair. Come on. Oh, he's making a miss. The cross. He's wide open. And just a tap in. There it is. Jack Grealish in the right place at the right time. Scott Sinclair found him through that crowd of people in the center. And we get a nice 1-0 lead. 38 minutes into the match. I was afraid we were going to go into halftime. Still with the deficit, but nice footwork by Scott Sinclair. And he found the pass. Oh, the through ball. Can we get another? Can we get another? Oh, he just made no... What in the world just happened right there? You could see I stopped talking because I figured it would be a save, but they just made a complete mess out of that right there. And that does happen from time to time. Not much I can do about that. And we have a two-goal two lead. Oh, here we go. We can maybe get one more here. Sinclair's just got to finesse it around. And he's going to put it wide. Man, it was an open goal. And I thought Sinclair was able to finish that one, but that is not meant to be. A nice way to round out the episode. We get a nice 2-0 result, courtesy of a goal from Jack Grealish and an own goal. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode today. If you did, do me a favor. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.